I got a good one for you today. Pizza. Now I've already done a pizza episode and that was a Sicilian style pizza. This one I think is a little more that one that we're normally used to here in the United States. And we're gonna go through the numbers, right? We're gonna make the dough, make a nice simple little tomato sauce for it. I like them simple. I don't like anything crazy for tomato sauce. Some pepperoni, some mozzarella, and a nice hot oven. And then I got a little treat for afterwards. One thing that was pretty common growing up where I did, I grew up in Reno. We would go to this pizza place called JJ's Pie Company. The place was absolutely amazing. They would have honey to pour on the crusts. And it was just fantastic. So I've been uh, working on a little project. That is garlic being fermented in honey. Now every once in a while I try the honey just a little bit and it's got this beautiful garlic taste that a while ago it was really just aggressive. Now it's starting to mellow and I'm gonna put some of that on the pizza afterwards. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. Let's make some pizza. I'm gonna start with the dough and then we'll go from there. Oh, one quick thing. If you don't wanna make your own dough, that's totally fine. Uh, get some pre-made dough. Anyway, let's jump on it. I'm gonna make a high hydration dough because I like some of those big craters. Since you can use store-bought pizza dough, I'm gonna go real quick through the process of making your own pizza dough here. Uh, all of the ingredients are very simple. It's flour, water, salt, yeast, a little bit of olive oil, and your hands. Now, I'm gonna put uh, full different baker's percentages, imperial units, and standard uh, measurements, but I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna tell you what I'm using but in grams because that's just how I normally work with bread. We're gonna start with flour. I'm using, it's called double zero flour. It's very soft wheat. I use this for pizza and for pasta. So we're gonna start with 350 grams. We're gonna go with a teaspoon of yeast, half teaspoon of kosher salt, and about 15 grams of olive oil, 225 grams of water. This is gonna give us a 65% hydration dough. And all we're doing, just work it, stir it up. Now I'm using this for pizza dough. This can easily be used for any other type of bread you want. I'm not gonna add flour as I need this because I don't want to change that hydration percentage. What I do wanna do is get it nice and well kneaded. It's gonna take a few minutes and it's gonna to come together. Now, if you find that it's sticking, just use your bench scraper and scrape it up. As you can see, it's a really sticky dough. And the reason for that is that it's kind of higher hydration. This is 65% where the stuff that you get at the store is usually gonna be, you know, less than 60. The reason for that, it's easier for people to work with uh, lower hydration, and it's also easier to package. I go with a nice and high hydration level because I want a nice, beautiful, cavernous crust to it. This dough is ready to uh, proof. That's a good looking dough. All right, our dough has had a chance to sit a bit. And it's gotten nice and pillowy. And this is that beautiful double O flour. You don't have to use that double O flour. I usually use all purpose. What I'm doing here is taking the sides and pressing them under. And what that does 
is builds a taut skin, very thin taut skin, and that's gonna keep it from spreading out much. It's just gonna keep it into kind of a ball. All right, let's give this a half hour. All right, this is rested and proofed for about a half hour. Now it's time to start shaping. Now it takes practice to get a good circle, but just keep stretching, get it to where you want to be. One of the things you'll want to do is make sure there's a lot of flour. And that's going to keep the dough able to spin around and move. The overall goal is to make yourself a nice thin crust in the middle with a lot of room to expand here on the outside. Now I'm going to put this on the back of the sheet pan. So once you have your pizza on, go ahead and make sure your shape is good. And that any thin spots that you have, just go ahead and kind of pinch them together. And I'm going with the inverted sheet pan, so that way there's nothing blocking heat from reaching all sides of the crust. So here's a little bit of pureed tomato, well, chunk tomato. A couple spoonfuls of chunk tomato. This is the San Marzano style of plum, plum or Roma tomatoes. Sounds like the oven's up to temp. Now for something like this, you want to bake it nice and hot. 500, 550 if your oven will go there. Next we have mozzarella. I tend to put a lot because I like mozzarella. And then I'm also going to be putting some ricotta cheese. All right, so that's good. Next, we've got pepperoni. And be as even with the distribution or uneven as you want. Next, I got a little bit of uh, mushrooms, just fresh raw mushroom. And then a little bit of hanged ricotta cheese. And when you hang it, what happens is a lot of the uh, moisture comes out. So it ends up like nice little dumplings of just milky cheese. It's actually really nice. Then I like to top off with just a little bit of mozzarella to hold everything down. And we're set. Now this is going to go into the oven probably 15-20 minutes. I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'm going to bake it at 550 which is my highest temp and pull it when it's nice and golden brown on the outside, everything nice and melted. Here's our pizza. Nice and fresh out, good browning everywhere. The crusts got nice and puffed up, and this is going to come right off this real easy. And you can use any knife that you want to cut it, but if you have a pizza cutter, that's always fun for this.
one thing I wanted to do before trying the pizza is get a little bit of this honey on it. I did let it rest a little because it was just freaking hot. I ended up turning it apart. This is delicious though. I think I just burnt the inside of my mouth. But, absolutely delicious. The uh, pepperoni has a good little tang to it. Um, the cheese, the ricotta, nice mildness. And the crust itself has really good structure to it, which makes it substantial and can stand up to really good toppings. The garlic honey is delicious too, especially around the crust. It's one of those things that's easy to make. Come home from work, take out some pre-made pizza dough or some dough that you've had sitting, warm it out, put everything on, bake it. I baked it 550 for about 16 minutes and it came out beautifully. It's gonna be hot, just cut it, let it rest a second, and then enjoy yourself. Speed spending 22, 25 bucks to get pizza, bring it home only for it to be cold, a little floppy, a little soggy. This, you can make whatever you want. Absolutely fantastic. And some things you can do is if you decide to make your own dough, you know, take the recipe that I used, replace the yeast with sourdough starter, and you can have sourdough pizza, and that's absolutely delicious. You can also play with different things that you can put in the dough. So, I'm gonna have dinner. We'll see you later.